Hey Blossoming Souls! My name is Amber Choicella, Psychic Medium and Divine Feminine, and I'm here with another Twin Flame video to discuss affirmations and how important they are to manifest union, okay? Um, but before I talk about that, um, I just completed a tw uh, update on the surrendering stage, what that looks like. So if you want to check that out, check that out. Um, and also, um, I am on Instagram at Blossom and Rise. A lot of you guys from YouTube have been finding me on Instagram and that has been so amazing and I love chatting up with you guys over there. So if you're interested in that, follow me over at Instagram. <clears throat> I do do live readings sometimes, but you can always find out when I'm going to do it within my story on Instagram. Um, I'm also available for readings. I only do limited readings right now on Fridays. So if you're interested, I do them via Zoom or by phone, everything in the description box. If you're a divine feminine that's in separation and you're needing some help and some guidance with that, I have created a seven day course challenge, challenge course. Um, if you're interested in that, everything is down there in the description box. Okay. So without further ado, affirmations. So when I was on a journey, I actually came across like this twin flame coach <coughs> and I want to say her handle was like twin flame union coach. And I'm like, what am I missing? Because I was getting signs. Uh, I was communicating with this higher self like I just felt like things were happening and I was manifesting I was already in surrender stage so I was manifesting stuff quickly um, without really realizing that I could manifest union right so I took this course and like the one thing that I got out of it that was advantageous and productive was the affirmations right so I started doing these affirmations and when I say affirmations okay so when you do affirmations you have to have a feeling word, okay, um, feeling word, I, and that you're doing it now. So whatever it is that you want to create, you write it as if it's happening now, right? So my thing was having constant communication with my counterpart because he was in and out, in and out. In fact, I had told him uh, at one point, I was like, look, you're either you're going to talk to me or you're not going to talk to me. I'm done with this back and forth shit. Like you need to get it together. You need to get it right. You figure it out and then you holla at your girl. And if, you, if you're not ready to do that, then leave me alone. Stop reaching out to me because this shit is overwhelming and it's confusing. And above all else, it's frustrating as fuck. Okay. So he's like, okay, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm going to do better. Gone. So I was like, okay. So that's like the first thing that I wanted to manifest. So I created an um, uh, affirmation. I said, I am happy and excited that he, I put his name, he is, uh, we have constant and happy communication with each other, right? And then I put it on my phone, multiple, so I made silent alarms. So it would pop up on my phone and I would see it and then it would invoke feeling, okay? So I would see it often. Um, what's another, that was like the main one that I did, but I had like four different other ones pertaining to what I wanted to happen in our relationship, our connection. And I'm not kidding. 11 days later, he reached out to me after I started practicing those affirmations. Affirmations are phenomenal. Okay. I'm telling you, uh, I created a video called the five signs you're, you're close to union. So you can check that out here. And I talked about manifesting. So when you start manifesting shit, especially once you get into the surrendering stage of the journey, you can start practicing affirmations, but you have to wait until you get into the surrendering stage because you have to be at a, uh, a state on the journey where you're at a higher vibration. All right. Um, so that's healing. Okay. The healing work has been done. You've been able to elevate your energy. Um, and that's just not just manifesting union. That's manifesting anything that you want. Okay. Um, I was manifesting like it was nothing. It was nothing to a boss. Okay. <laughs> it was just happening. And I was like, yep, I want this. I want that. And it was working. It was happening. So if you could do that. You could do that in anything. Remember, you are the creator of your life. You're the creator of your reality. Make it the best. Okay. You're going to be manifesting and pulling things to you, whether you're conscious of it or not. So make conscious effort of bringing in things that you actually want to bring into your life. All right. Because you're that fucking powerful. Let me just enlighten you and empower you to believe that because it is true. Okay. So practicing affirmations started off with, I am, I feel I have and write it in present tense with feelings involved. Okay. You're happy. You're excited. You're, um, you're feeling powerful. You're feeling confident. I am confident that, um, Okay, I'm trying to use a twin flame thing. I'm confident that my 
like they love me they love me i feel so happy that we talk daily i feel so happy that i am getting ready to see him okay i'm going to see him or her all right i have so much love and understanding and i feel grateful for this journey okay so like little like sentences like that okay and you want to see them often so that's why I, re I recommend that you put them on your phone so that you can see them so that they're there um that's very advantageous okay so let me know this is a quick video about twin flame affirmations let me know what has worked what has not worked but definitely remember to put in feeling words and that is happening now Whatever it is that you want to happen, feeling words, and it's happening now. I have, I am, um, I feel. Okay? Um, let me know how it resonates with you guys, how it works out for you guys. Everyone can get to union. I feel like that. It's possible for me, possible for you too. Okay? So much love. Love you guys. And until the next video, I'm trying to post more often. The way my work schedule is, the way my work life is right now. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to make more availability for... Blossom and Rise, which is my business, here on Instagram, I mean, here on YouTube and on Instagram, and on Patreon. Oh, that's another thing. I'm on Patreon, too. Totally forgot. Uh, I do daily messages on Patreon, so if you're interested, check that out. Everything is down below, description box. If you lasted this long, thank you. I love you, and until next time, if you have any suggestions of videos that you would like to see, please comment down below. I read all the comments. I reply back all to the, all the comments. <clears throat> if they're negative, they just get deleted. I'm not even going to entertain that shit. Okay. All right, guys, I love you. Until next time, bye for now.